This week, we land in Lima, Peru. With only 24 hours to savor the sights and flavors of this vibrant city, we're on a mission to indulge in our most cherished foods and unveil what we enjoy doing with limited time in one of our favorite cities. Ooh, go eat, I'm hungry. just landed. We have 24 hours here, so let me go show you what we love to do when we're here. If I wanted to show you, if you learn anything from this video, do not leave this airport without getting a taxi first. Because you're not, you're not going to rent a car. Don't go out there and try to get an Uber. Just get a taxi. It's the easiest. You know how much it's going to be, and it'll get you to your destination safely. It's us. Harold. Go ahead, baby. Okay, so we got settled in. We got like an hour or two nap, showered, and now we're off to our first stop. So this morning, we are waking up. We're a little tired from flying late last night. We're at Wonkawasi, and we're here for some breakfast. We're getting the pan con chicharron and some much needed coffee. This is what I needed. <laughs> so this is called umita, which is like a sweet tamale. They serve it for breakfast. I've never had it before, so I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, it's falling apart. Shoot. Cheese in the middle. Mm. Tastes like the corn of a tamale. Salty. That has a sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. Filling. You can tell that that would like fill you up and like start your day just perfectly right. Look at the cheese. So um, it, it's fried pork, it has the fried sweet potato, and then you put the salsa criolla on top. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's give it a try. Whoa, there's something going on outside. <laughs> Perfect breakfast sandwich. Look how like flaky this bread is. I love that. We determined I'm a messy eater. I'm sorry, but I get really excited when I get in front of delicious food like this. I love this. I mean, you get the savoriness of the pork, the sweetness from the sweet potato, and you just get that little bit of spiciness from the salsa frioia. Breakfast now that we've had some breakfast, we're going to take a short taxi ride over to one of our favorite places to visit, when in Lima. Even when we have limited time, we still always make sure to stop by the Melicon de Mia Flores. It's one of the many parks along the coast with paths that run along the upper edge of the cliff of the Costa Verde that belongs to the district of Mia Flores. Oh my god, you are awfully cute. <laughs> Buddy. So when we 
stay in Mia Flores normally. We just walk down we, to this park. We get a little coffee, a little cappuccino, a little whatever you feel like drinking. And then we just watch these beautiful views. So it's not the best weather, but that's okay. It's still beautiful. We have a nice breeze up here. It's like 70. So when in Lima, we have to get ceviche. I'm super excited. We're gonna head over to Lamar. Gaston is Curio. I mean, this is his hometown. I'm so excited. Only problem is we don't have reservations. So we're going at noon to try to get in without reservations. Will we do it? I don't know. Let's go try. Okay, so we made it to Lamar. There's not much of a line. That's good. Hopefully we can get in. We still don't know yet, but Gaston Vicurio is legendary. He's a legendary chef here in Lima, Peru. We've been to his restaurant in Miami. We've been to the one in Buenos Aires. We've never been to the one here in Lima, so I'm really excited. It's his hometown. Oh, let's go eat, I'm hungry. Good news, we got a seat. We found out while waiting in line, they don't take reservations. So that was great news for us and we ended up getting right in. Cheers. It's a delicious East Coast salad. I mean, it's what you have to have when you come to Lima. You gotta have the East Coast sour. It's just so tangy and sweet. It's delicious. So this is the mixed ceviche. It has raw fish, shrimp, plants. It has sweet potatoes, seaweed, fried plantains. Good. It's a nice like balance to all the spice that you're about to have with the fish. Alright, let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. It's spicy. It's hot. It's tangy. I taste the limes. Oh my gosh, this is what you want when you come to Peru. You want to just have this amazing, delicious, fresh fish. So this is Malaya. It is mixed seafood that's fried. It has fried yuca. It comes with sauces. Let me just tell you, my husband orders this every time he eats Peruvian. But this is the most beautiful plate that I have ever seen in my life. It looks amazing. I also like how it's sometimes with this plate it can be a lot of fried. Thank you. 
I'm, I'm not gonna lie. The neighbors next to us got the picaronas, and I saw them, and I was like, I need to have picaronas here. <laughs> so this is the picaronas. It's basically like a donut, but it's more special than a donut. It is sweet potato, and then it's fried. And then on top of that, they have this sauce. I don't know what's in the sauce, but you have the sweetness of the donut, and then they the sauce makes it this savory treat that tastes like no other, like nothing you've ever had before. So I can't wait to try Lamar Gastona Curios Picaronas. So we're at the bridge of size and the wise tale is if you want to make a wish and you want it to come true, you start on one side of the bridge, you make that wish, you hold your breath the entire way across the bridge and your wish should come true. It's like an old like mansion, um, but they opened up this garden park. So we're down here in the garden, which is really cool. Hip, bohemian place to hang out, have some drinks, and eat some food. So we ordered the calza. The calza is a really popular dish here in Peru. It's a cold dish. It's basically layered potatoes. In the center, you can choose to get chicken, tuna, you can get crab, you can get shrimp, all sorts of different centers. We decided on chicken, and it also has layers of avocado, tomatoes. It's just yummy, delicious, tangy. It's got lime in it. It's just, let's give it a try. So we have a very popular dish here in Peru, the anticuchos, which is cow's heart. No, it sounds a little funny, but it is delicious. It's marinated in chilies and then it's grilled. It's pretty delightful. Pull it off here of the skewer. <laughs> Thank you. Very 
very good. It tastes a lot, to me, it tastes a lot like steak, but it, the consistency is just a little bit more spongy. It's delicious. So another very popular dish here in Peru is the lomo ensopado, which is really always my go-to dish. It is a Peruvian stir fry. It's like fusion with Asian cuisine as well. Um, it's got tomatoes, peppers, onions, steak, served with fried uh, potatoes and rice. A little bit spicy. Ah, it's just delicious. So good. Wow, what a crazy 24 hours, starting with breakfast at Wanawaski where we enjoyed that pan con chicharron. We got to enjoy a coffee over at the Melicon Park and watch the surfers in the water below the cliffs. We had lunch at the infamous Lamar. And lastly, we enjoyed an evening in Barranco where we indulged in the classics, the calza, the lomo santado, and the anacuchos. But now, on the way to the airport. So we just made it back to the airport. Oh, 24 hours in Lima it was a great experience. I loved being back at the park, looking over the cliffs. Lamar was amazing, that ceviche was, I'm gonna have dreams about it. Um, I loved going to Barranco, having a lemon sotado, the calza, uh, the pisco sours. I mean, there's just so much to do here, but we crammed a lot in in a short amount of time. So as many of my friends here in Peru have told me, there's a lot more to Peru. So we're heading over to Arequipa and we're gonna check out Arequipa, which I'm really excited about. So, we'll see you on the next video. Bye.